Hi, I'm Ash with From Bedroom to Banger and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be making It's called Slap House, not Brazilian bass apparently. Uh, I don't freaking know anymore. You know me, I don't keep up with genres. Like, I really don't. But listening to this, I'm pretty inspired because it reminds me of main stage club EDM. Except honestly, I think it's way cooler because it is more minimal and it's got a lot of viral potential because what a lot of artists are doing is putting a well-known pop acapella over top of this style of music. They spice it up, it blows up on TikTok. I love it because you could make really poppy stuff sound dope. But since I need that YouTube money, I cannot get demonetized for this track. I'm gonna use a catchy acapella that I use for pretty much everything. Shout out to Directive, wherever you are. The recipe for Slap House is simple. One, you need a well-known acapella. Two, a house beat, but slower and a little bit more simple. Number three, a bouncy bass and lead elements with a lot of call and response. So let's dive right in. We're just gonna go ahead and start with this drop. So as I said, you want a house beat. So we start at 120 BPM. It's a little slower than typical house, but this genre is very oriented around how the drums and the bass play around each other. And the most important thing you wanna nail is the swing or the groove of it, which is really easy to do in Ableton. And I'll show you how to do that once we get to that section. As I said, the drums are pretty straightforward. It's just a kick. Something that just cuts through everything. And I've just done a little simple EQ on it and then just claps and snare. And you'll notice in this drop, it's just a kick and snare for the first part of the drop, especially. For this snare, I did a few little special things to make it a bit brighter and to cut through even more. I used erosion on its sign setting to add additional waveforms to it. I EQ'd it to make it brighter and then saturator and reverb to fill it out. So when we get to the actual drop itself, it consists of two main sounds, a bass like this and a lead like this. And I like to throw some vocal chops in there for fun. Well, let's start with the bass. So while writing this thing, I like just keeping the drums going behind it. And having this be the main element, we really have to focus on it. And listening back to it, it kind of sounds like a slap bass. <gasps> slap the bass! Slap house! Now I get it. I get it. Everything makes sense. I made this sound in Serum, and in order to get that slap bass effect, the best way to do it is to create an envelope that looks like this. So just copy these settings here so that it drops off pretty quickly like this, and then have the release maybe like halfway so it, it's got a nice tail. And then what you wanna do is you wanna move this envelope and attach it to a low pass filter. It can be as intense as you want or as light as you want, but the more intense it is, the slappier it gets. Next, you just wanna use detuned analog wavetables, anything in this, and then run everything through this filter. Then the most important thing is to turn this button here on. This is called key tracking. What this essentially does is it keeps the filter's strength throughout whatever keys you're playing. So on a bass, the filter is not gonna be as strong. So when you listen back to it, without the key tracking, it's gonna sound like It's like a little love tap. It's not slapping. You turn that on and Fucking slaps! <laughs> but as long as you're running all of these analog wavetables through the filter, these are the ones that I ended up using, but feel free to come up and experiment with your own. You can even add noise or a sub and keep key tracking on, you'll be fine. Plus, I'm gonna give you this one for free. It's in the Discord, link's below. Check it out, free, love you. Next, this melody comes from the chord progression of the original song. So you just follow it with a few little accent notes. Now there's one last very important step. We need to give it that bounce, that Get out! Why are you being so mean to me? The best way to do that is you hit Control A, and then over here on the left side, Ableton's got the groove template. It's really easy to do this. So you click this little arrow here, the hot swap, and then go into MPC. These I find are the best ones because it gives that really nice bounce. So anything between 50 to 60. 
I went with 53 here, and this is what it sounds like. Like it's a really subtle effect, but it works. Awesome. And finally, I just added some processing. Good old OTT EQ to cut out the lows to make room for a sub bass as well. That to balance it out. A little bit of reverb sounds like. Thick. Next, I want to talk about that lead that I made. And the concept behind this is it plays a call and response melody. So I have it playing for the first four bars and then I'm going to have it respond with the vocal chops that I'll be adding later. So right now it sounds like this. And how I made that is also in Serum. And we use the same principle of using an envelope on a low cut filter. This one is a lot shorter, so it's a lot more like a pluck, keeping the sustain all the way down and the release a little bit up so that it has that tail once again. And this is the wavetable I use. Icon has kick. But as I said, feel free to experiment, go wild with it, make your own stuff. And I also added the groove swing to it to keep that bounce going. Gotta have that bounce. And then the last cool thing I did was I recorded this last note with Ableton's resample and made a little reverse like this. It's exactly from the acapella, but I copied it down here and then just transposed it down, 12 semitones hit that complex pro and brought the formants down to give it that deep effect. And you'll find that layered vocal effect a lot in Slap House. Last but not least, very, very important for these kind of drops is you wanna find a brass hit, something like this. And you place that at the beginning of the bar and it just adds that final little punch for once you get into the drop. So dope. Okay, so I'm about to play the final result. Before I do that, if you like what I'm doing, if you learned something today, please like and subscribe this video. I wanna shout out all the true homies on Patreon. Thank you so much. Your support directly helps this channel and helps me keep doing this, so I can't appreciate you enough. If you wanna join the Patreon, we've got a lot of goodies over there, including the project file for this song, as well as a bonus video where I go over all of the cool little details that are actually in this song that really bring it to that next level. Of course, if free is more your style, just follow me on Twitch. We hang out there every Monday doing song feedback, music production, just chatting, maybe a bit of gaming, or follow my socials, or do both, or none of them at all. You don't have to, it's fun. Just share the video, comment below if you liked it, whatever, all that engagement stuff. But that is gonna be it for me today. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Here's the full song. Peace out. I'll see y'all next time. Be safe. Bye. What a lot of artists are doing uh, is... What a lot of artists do. What? How can I not say this line?